<clears throat> Hello everyone, I'm just making a quick tutorial about something that is really cool that UDAIM support is officially in 2.8, okay, by Lucas Stockner, uh, thanks, to, thanks to Blender developers. Anyway, I just want to make a very quick video showing um, how it works because I think it's really cool and actually I'm going to use it in a project that I'm working on. So I'm working in a project that is going to be, if you recognize this tank, is going to be related with something that is quite famous. But anyway, um, so I'm going to remove this guy. I'm going to create a new monkey, default monkey, because it have basic UVs, okay? So UVs, and I'm going to create copies of this mesh okay so I have three phase three three monkeys in this object okay three geometries that are the monkey and they all have the same UVs okay so if I move this okay I'm moving the UVs only of this one okay so I, they have all the same UVs so what I'm going to do is going to shading create a new material uh, press ctrl shift T no sorry ctrl T not shift, just control T to create a basic texture. Okay, so I'm gonna create a new texture. I'm gonna call it 1001 and, and I will show you why. Uh, just just like that, okay. And instead of uh, generate it, I'm gonna call it tile it, okay, tile it, okay. Now I'm gonna go to texture pane this day, so I have this style texture, style texture. Uh, wait, 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 UVs, UVs, sorry. Go to the UV editing, here it is. File, tile, okay, fill tile. So this will create the texture again, okay? Uh, keep in mind that this is uh, work in progress. Uh, still, they are still working on it. Actually, I'm using uh, two point uh, uh, 2.82 blended alpha so this is like highly in development they just implemented like few two days ago I think uh, so this is the build information okay that I'm using um, so in the future will this could change a little bit but I'm really excited about it okay so maybe it's not production ready but it's really cool that we are getting it very soon um, so so I have filed this tile, okay, so I'm going to save that image, save as, this is a test that I made, so as you can see, uh, it's already creating the dot one zero zero one. so I didn't need to do that, but anyway, just I'm going to just save it, okay, save that one, and now I'm going to create a new tile, and I'm going to create a new texture, and I'll just change the color a little bit, just to make sure that, that we can see the difference, okay, so and I'm going to create a new one, just to play, and this one I'm gonna fill again and I'm gonna create another color. So I have these textures. So good thing is like I can select this one, select this one, and I, I should save that one, save as and automatically that should save oh it, it gives me an error. Okay, never mind. Um, so I'm gonna remove those. I'm gonna create a new one and I see if I can image open. The ones that I was using before. This would be this. Ah, damn it! It's not, it doesn't work now. Uh, I have to go to the texture. Cool. And let's create a new one. Okay. Boom. All right. Just a test. So in theory, if I should change here to view to render. So if I select this UVs and I move those here. So I'm gonna press G to move X one. Okay, so I'm using that one, okay, and this one, so if I create a new one, let's change, let's create that one file with an image, okay, and this one I'm going to move to, okay, and this doesn't, it doesn't, it's pink because it doesn't really recognize that texture, so I, in theory what I should do is just save that, let's see if I can just image save, it save everything, it only saved that one. Image save us. Oh, it saved all the images. Perfect. Okay. So once you have created, 
and you save it save all at once ah, that's cool that's cool 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 well as you guys can see like and the amazing thing um that it works with texture pane in theory i was using it with texture pane and it was working so here i have this texture uh yes yeah, so you can see well i can just paint there and it affects this one i paint on this one and affects this one and i paint on this one and it affects this one and it all works with one single image connected to the shader so i can use the same shader so if i want this to add more metallic or whatever let's uh, make some subdivisions and make it a little bit more nice okay so I, it, it's a metallic color it's a metallic shader but i can use different texture for the color path and i can use that for roughness or everything or all the images basically all the inputs here so i think it's yeah it's amazing and um, it works now I, I was just testing it and I thought I'd just, just make a video, a quick video about it. And yeah, it's great. It's, it's working really well. No problem so far. I think there is some pride. I was reading, uh, if you read the, um, here, the, um, um, this thread on Blender Artists, uh, people is testing it. Uh, really cool information here. So take a look. Some people have problems with NVIDIA graphic cards, but it's, as I said, this is alpha. It's in development. So it's, really cool anyway this is the quick video so thank you and so um yeah so about the naming conventions like basically uh udim uh how do if you just quick google uh udim ubs and you will find tons of tons of information okay so i just um you just click the first one uh okay it's a foundry uh, website so creators of model but it's it's very it's a standard system so the good thing about this is like a standard system that most of the 3d software use and now blender use it as well or will use it as well so uh, basically this is the grid like so one ten zero one it will be the first image ten zero two will be the second image and so on and this will go in uh, x direction okay this is like horizontal and vertical you want to add uh, 10 1 1 for the uh, vertical second tile and yeah basically it's to uh, the coordinate system and this is the convention okay that uh, they're using uh, so this is this is a great basically like uh, if you know if you want to know why is the naming convention and how it works uh, you can just google that and you will find more but yeah that's basically it